This here's the Karam Handmade River Valley Hunter. This is hand forged, whole one tool steel, uh, three sixteenths, down to probably uh, I want to say five thirty seconds <clears throat> or an eighth, maybe a little over an eighth. Um, distal taper, um, like a modified semi skinner drop point. Sandbar stag handle, and. Uh, my trademark sheep horn guard that's hand mortised with some spacers in there. So this is about a um, four and three quarter inch blade, almost five inches. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of testing with this today. Okay, got a piece of maple here. It's been down for a while. I'm just gonna try and cut through a smaller branch and then do some notches. A little bouncy, but it worked for doing notches and things like that for bushcraft. Convex edge is really good. In there and notch this pretty clean make that deeper if you want to if that shows up on camera you know <clears throat> plenty sharp as far as like stripping bark Type of thing pretty easy <clears throat> pretty effortless if you were doing a feather stick and I'm not really good at this <laughs> but if you were just stripping pieces of wood you know it's very very sharp <clears throat> don't mind my technique but uh you know ten stakes what have you and if you're processing game, you've got that nice <clears throat> swoop to the front here. Hopefully that's coming through on the camera. Nice distal taper. As you can see, I'm not sure if this is going to be in focus. I'll come around the other side. <clears throat> you, can, you can hack with this all you want. You're not going to damage the edge at all. This is double tempered 01 tool steel. As you can see, the edge is flawless. You might get some sap and stuff on there. You can always clean it up with, you know, WD 40 or something like that. But it's a great knife for camping, hunting, general outdoor use. So uh, I also wanted to show you. The sheet that this knife comes with. This is a uh, frontier style that I make. I do tooling on the front. If you've seen my other video, the, the one with oak leaves and uh, acorns, and I could do pretty much whatever you want. But it's kydex lined. So when you're putting your knife in there, you can see that on the video or not on my phone. I am not the best videographer. I've said that before. I got my phone wedged between a tree and another tree, so <laughs> you can see that. There's a liner in there. And uh, when the knife goes in, it locks in. It's not going to fall out of the sheath or anything like that. Keeps it really secure. <clears throat> not only do you have the Kydex, but you've got, uh, this is, I believe, 12 ounce uh, vegetable tan leather. Very thick. You're not going to wear through that belt loop. Double copper rivet construction in the back. Kangaroo lacing all the way around, which is the toughest lacing you can buy. So, again, if you're interested, uh, Garam Handmade Frontier Style Sheath. <clears throat> and again, this is the River Valley Hunter in uh, four and three quarter, I think it's closer to five inch, five inch blade. Thanks for watching, Karam Handmade.